Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, your cold Frenchie. Today, episode number 85. What do you have on the menu, coach, today? First of all, we're going to talk about can use plan of August. Then we're going to compare some Trampler stats for the upcoming season. We're going to talk about the Link Up Gretzky Cup. And finally, NHL News, some rumor. So don't go nowhere. You know the drill. Please click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation I show, sharing this video, and below this video, tell me what you think about the episode number 85. Let's dive in and talking about uh, Ken Hughes. Here we go. Let's talk about Ken Hughes' plan for August. First of all, August guy, remind me a lot of different things. First of all, the football is back. If you love football, football camp start, the college Football start and we go on the transition. And then at the end of August, of course, the kids are back at the school or the college people. So uh, that's happening in August. But for hockey, it's not. You have a lot of things to do. And I think for me, in August, for Ken Hughes, you have a different plan. First of all, about preparation. It's all about now to prepare for the upcoming season 2022-2023. The vacation are done. Use Gordon back at the office, and they have to figure out now what happening now for the next couple of weeks until the beginning of the season because we have a lot of things to do. And he have to, first of all, to reevaluate the roster. Who is going to be the roster? When I said that, he's going to put a whiteboard, put maybe 40 names on it. Who is going to go on the rookie cam? And then, the, of course, in August, you have the World Junior Championship to follow up. Some of Montreal Canadian prospects are also in, inside of this tournament. So that's another thing you have to, to do in August. The evaluation of the roster and, of course, the rookie cam in September and the main cam for the Montreal Canadian following and before the upcoming season. So a lot of things to do for Ken Hughes and Jeff Gordon. And for me, for... Montreal need to do in August is possible make some trade. What are you talking about? They still have some problem on the Surrey cap. If ever nobody go on the long-term injury reserve, possible carry price, possible Bob Biron. Otherwise, they will have to figure out something because they have to sign Gerby Dak. Still believe $1.5 to $2.5 million AAV per year. They have to figure out the decision with Caden Primo. This another one is on RFA. Otherwise, about signature, I don't see anything else. Trade-wise, I will add Joel Armia. He's really the players I believe could change address for the next couple of weeks for the Montreal Canadian, and I think he can make something happening with Ottawa or with Anaheim or Arizona. I think they have two destinations Armia could go for the next couple of weeks for the upcoming season. Then, no hunting. Please, can you? It's not a time to hunting. The hunting didn't start before September, honestly. But us, we don't hunting nowhere until 2023-2024. Yeah, no reason right now to can use through hunting at this moment. I'm going to talk more about this tomorrow, by the way, about what is next for the Montreal Canadian. So that's complete, guys. The plan of August. We're going to see what can use going to do. Let's move on now to the next subject, guys. Here we go, guys. On this one, I want to talk about the skill set comparison. What are you talking about, coach? But I read an article in, uh, on the internet, and I like the fact that it was compare players, everything like that, for the upcoming year to maybe have a better success for the Montreal Canadian or compare the players they lost and now with the player we add in the roster. First of all, the first one I want to mention is the defenseman between Jeff Petrie and Mike Madison. They got trade together a couple of weeks ago. Petrie played 68 games last year with 6 goals, 21 assists, 27 points. We know he struggled at the beginning of the year until Martin St. Louis joined the team as a head coach. And Mike Madison, good year. 74 games, 11 goals, 20 assists, 31 points. Pretty even. 
One is a right defenseman, one is a left defenseman. Petri is 34 years old, and Madison is 28 years old. And they are pretty much same kind of role inside of a team. Now, Petri is going to be second defenseman pairing for the Pittsburgh behind Le Tank. It was the same session with Madison on the left side. Petri play more on the power play for that for sure. But Madison have a pretty much great year as an even strength 5 versus 5. So that's what you can compare. Now, Montreal Canadian, what are you going to use him? That's the only problem I see. Same situation like he was for P3. Both of them should not become a defenseman number one for their team, but more like a defenseman number three. That would be the right share for them. I think the TOI of Madison is going to be more with a Montreal compared to P3. But if Madison can have that kind of point here with 9 to 12 goals and about 18 to 22, 24 assists, that would be what we expect for my medicine. But I just want to give you the compare between both of them. Let's move on to the next one. Alex Romanoff and Justin Barron. We know Romanoff got trade from the Montreal Canadiens to the Islanders for the third overall pick 2022 and then got trade that pick to the Chicago Blackhawks and return we got Gerby Dak. But now because Romanov is out, I compare him with Justin Barron. Barron should become now the defenseman number two or three for the Montreal Canadiens. And Romanov he have a 79 game last season, three goals, 10 assists, 13 points, and is 0.16 point average per game. Why well, you did that, coach? It's because you cannot compare Barron where he played only seven games and like with the Montreal with only 2.1 goal, one assist, 0.29. But my point to you is Romanov is physical. Baron brain offensive, puck mover, great skater, third leg, great on power play. So the role is a little bit different between Baron and Romanov. But on the TOI, I believe you're going to have that kind of same. And for me, Baron have to consist is 0.25 to 0.35 could be a good asset for the Montreal Canadian. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is about Rand Poland and Kirby Dak. We know what happened with Dak. We know Poland got trade with Jeff Petri to Pittsburgh. Just let's compare both. Poland, 57 game, 9 gold, 8 assists, 17 points. Pretty good overall for his first full time as a professional in NHL. Kirby Dak, third year in NHL, 70 game 9 goals 17 assists for 26 points i expect about 12 to 15 goals and 20 25 assists for Dak for next year with 30 to 35 points that would be a great year for the first year with the montreal canadian here we go and this one is about tyler to Foley and uh, that enough that enough got straight to the montreal one the montreal sent their captain sean shea bird and I want to compare with Toffoli. Toffoli got trade uh, to the Calgary Flame. I believe they are really good players to compare. 70 game for Toffoli, 20, 29, 49. And for that enough, 78, 20, 23, 43. Pretty much about the goal, the goals, they have a similar, a little bit advantage, assist by Toffoli. Unfortunately, that enough did not play as a top six most of the time with the Vegas was more like the third line, couple of minutes on a power play. Toffoli was really top six with the Montreal Canadian. He was back and forth, second line, third line, and he, he but he played power play for both teams, unit number one. So that's the reason I have a little bit more point. But if that enough can get 20 goals and possible 25, 30 assists for 50 points, it would be a great year for the that enough with the Montreal Canadian. And the last one I want to compare, guys, is between uh, Lickonen and Pitlick. Uh, Pitlick got claim off from the waiver from the Minnesota Wild, and Lickonen got trade for the Montreal to Colorado Avalanche, where he had, did an amazing great job over there, win the Stanley Cup. Now, both players, 58 game for Lickonen, 13 goal, 16 assists, 29 points with the Montreal Canadiens. Pitlick, 46, 9, 17, 26. Pretty similar again. And then Pitlick have to consider this. I'm a little bit worried about his possible recession, about his play and his number of points. But if he can play 75 game, 
12 goals and possible 20, 25 assists for a player play on the third line for the Montreal Canadiens and our special team. I would be very happy about Pit Lake. Hopefully you like uh, this subject of skill set comparison and uh, that will give us an idea what the player for the Montreal is going to do for the upcoming season. Let's move on now for the next subject. So let's talk about the Linka Gretzky Cup uh, 2022. We know they have six teams uh, play at this tournament for the U18 and lower. And every day I'm going to bring you the update of the score. Every time that was going on. Yeah, three games yesterday. Let's see what happening for Team Canada. They honestly beat easily net domination from the beginning to the end for the Team Canada. 14-0 the final score. Game number two was uh, Team USA versus Germany. Easy game, of course, for the Team USA. Final score, 8 uh, for USA and 1 for Germany. Finally, the first game of the day, it was between the Chechia versus Finland. And this game had to go on the overtime. Chechia beat uh, the Finland by the score 4-3. So that's happening, guys, uh, at this uh, Lenka Kretzky Cup. This tournament is in Alberta and Canada. And they have six teams, like I mentioned. I'm going to follow up for sure for every update uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, let's move on for the last subject of the day, guys. And I'm talking about uh, the NHL news. Uh, it's more about the rumor we heard for the last couple of days. We have, we have no signature right now and nothing's going on around the league. But I want to talk about the Kedri. Uh, Nelson Kedri was... Uh, Couple of information get out this weekend. Possibly signing a contract one year at seven point five million dollars, or three years at three at three years at seven million, or not a long term contract at this moment. And the team they was talking about it was possible the New York Islanders. Some people say maybe stay in Colorado Avalanche and bring his name in Boston and Calgary. But what we heard this weekend. Look like the New York Islanders as going. To, he is the biggest name right now, still on the UF3 list at this moment. But I want to mention other news we heard, other rumor. And let's talking about the youngest players uh, 15 years ago, Patrick Kane and uh, Jonathan Taze, uh, two players for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, their name is all over the map right now with all the change happening with the Chicago Blackhawks staff management with. Rebuilding that team, we expect them to get trade at some point. We don't know when. Is it before the game, the season start? Is it during the season during the trade deadline? We don't know. But I want to mention different destination. First of all, I want to talk about the Edmonton Oilers. Patrick Kane name was mentioned the last couple of days. Possible to get trade over there. A team we're going to follow up now. Both. Name was mentioned for the Dallas Star, Jonathan Taze and Patrick Kane. Would be interesting if it could happen. Kane was really mentioned during the weekend for the Star. Then the Boston Bruins. Uh, more about Jonathan Taze. Uh, we know Boston Bruins are looking right now to sign Bergeron and Ketchik, but it's nothing happening right now for both of them. So possibly they're going to looking for another center. Jonathan Taze could be someone could take spot number two and spot number one over there. Finally. I will say to you guys, do not put Karina out of this. I still believe Karina could find a way to bring Patrick Kane with the team or Jonathan Taze, something we have to follow up for sure. So this is the rumor what we heard for around the NHL at the weekend. Here we go, guys. This complete episode number 85. We have a lot of subjects today. We talk about Montreal Canadiens, the, the August plan for Ken Hughes. Skill set comparison. Then we talk about the Linka uh, Kretzky Cup. And finally, the NHL news today with some rumor around the league. Hopefully, you enjoy it. But before we leave, we want to remind you of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody. Mm -hmm.